With Lambeau as team captain that first season, the Packers outscored their opponents 565 to 12. Lambeau was a pioneer of the forward pass, and opposing teams were no match for his aerial attack. The thing about Curley was his, he could pass the ball, you know. Even way back in the 20s, we'd throw 25, 30 passes a game. That was unheard of back then. The packing company and its football team was sold to the Acme Packing Company. In 1921, the Acme Packers entered the American Professional Football Association, which reorganized as the National Football League a year later. Membership in the league did not translate into financial stability. If not for the backing of Calhoun's boss at the Press Gazette, the story of the Packers could have ended in bankruptcy in 1922. Andrew B. Turnbull, the first president of the Packers, publisher of the Green Bay Press Gazette, uh, uh, he, I think he had a great deal to do with the survival of the team in the early days. Uh, but he's the one who put the, uh, it's his leadership, through his leadership, that he put the Packers on a business-like basis and before was then known as the Green Bay Football Corporation. The not-for-profit corporation sold 1,000 shares of stock at $5 a piece. Support from the community arrived again in 1925 with the construction of City Stadium. Designed strictly for football, it could hold more than 5,000 fans, but the new stadium still lacked certain amenities. The grass was the best in the league. I mean, that's one of our claims to fame, the grass itself. But the stands were wooden, you know, and uh, that created a lot of... And there was probably only two outlets for anybody to go to the toilet. And as a result, you got a lot of guys, you know, exercising their right underneath the stands here and there. But the visiting team had a dress at the Northland Hotel, and they drove to East High, and they went in the girls' locker room on the Sunday, and that was their locker room for the football game. Nonetheless, City Stadium would be the site of many a Packer victory. He brought in the guys uh, who are in the Hall of Fame now, Cal Hubbard, Mike Michalski, you know, and people like that. He got them to come here. The powerful Packers pounded their way to an unprecedented three straight NFL titles in 1929, 30, and 31.